know. Customer sent me a picture, so I already knew what this looked like, but not quite the colour we're looking for with a swimming pool. So, time to get it treated. There's all sorts swimming about. Well, not all sorts, it's just larvae. And not really sure what that is there, I think. Well, I don't really know, but zoom in if you want. And the other skimmer. A lot swimming in there as well. Mosquito larvae. So he's only just um, messaged me today and oh, I used all my shock up on another job. So I've got no shock on the van. I've got chlorine, granules and tablets, and then I've also got flock on the van. So I'm just going to be using that combo for today. Here's the plant room. Chlorine feeder here, so I'll give it all a good backwash and I empty the baskets, put a load of tablets in there, and then hopefully with the flock it sorts it out pretty quickly. First of all, then I'm gonna get these skimmer baskets emptied. Try not to touch that. <laughs> Mosquitoes flying around. I'm just going to put the skimmers on just so I can clear them. All the debris floating around and them can go into the pump basket. So I to get the chlorine in and as it's a liner pool and the water's not really that hot, I'm going to dissolve it all in a bucket first.
forgot what I need to do first to give the filter a backwash. Let's go do that before putting the chemicals in. See how dirty the filter gets. Pretty green. I'll, give, I'll backwash it for a couple of minutes and then um, give it a rinse and then back on the filter. Actually, I'll be putting it on on recirculate because of the flock, so none of it gets caught up in the sand and then gets wasted. While it starts backwashing, or while the filter was backwashing, I've done another um, bucket chlorine mixed up so let's get it in there start to see it change colour. I've got the time lapse attached to the chair over there so we'll see how that looks at the end. I've gone off using flock recently to be honest with you because it can be such a pain sometimes but I've not really got much of a choice at the moment so in goes the flock. Mixed up in a bucket again. get both these tubs in and what the flock's going to do by the way if you don't know it's like a coagulant so it's going to help combine all the particles together sink them all to the bottom so what I've got to do is put it all in let the pump run for about half an hour and then basically yeah combine all the particles sink them down to the floor and the water should be crystal clear well, that is what we hope for anyway so we'll see Last bit of flock going in. Pool's already looking a little bit different. A lighter green.
Now what I'm going to do, get the brush and brush the whole pool. Get any algae there which is stuck to the liner on the walls and on the floor loose so it can then sink to the bottom. That's it for today then, all brushed up, Shh, not shocked, chlorinated and flocked. It's already gone a nice, well, I wouldn't say nice, but it's gone a lighter colour than what it was. You can already see it coagulating. Just about. So what I'm going to do is turn the and the pump off because we need no movement in the water for the flock to work properly. Leave that off. And I was going to show you these gun, these um, water guns. Spyro, I don't know if you've seen them before. I bought these, bought a couple of them, and they are insane. But what I'll do is when the um, when the water's nice and clear, get them loaded up and shoot. And you'll see what they look like. Anyway, bring on tomorrow a nice crystal clear pool. Oh yes, Le a lot less than 24 hours later, and we've got a nice, well not nice, but. Um, a clear pool there's a load of like flocky stuff on the top on the surface I'm gonna hoover the pool first because otherwise I might disturb everything that's on the floor so yeah we can see straight to the bottom which is great so I'll get all the hoover equipment set up and I don't know if you can see it but this is, this is what I hate about flock got all these little floating bits suspended in the pool Look like bits of soggy bread. Rather annoying, but what can you do? Honestly, gotta put this in so carefully. Any sudden movements and this flock just goes everywhere. Slowly down onto the floor. It will still move it a bit, but you can only be as careful as you can. Because it's like so light in the water. So obviously the pumps have been off since I was here yesterday. I won't prime it because that will definitely stir everything up. So I'll just plug it onto the pump over there and get it running. I'm running. I did put water in the pump, obviously pump, pump, but just not the hose. Shouldn't take too long. About a minute or so and we'll be on our way. The uh, time lapse camera's up there on the fence. Don't know if you can see it. Come 
out quite nice actually. You can see over there, I've done that bit. Trying to go as slow as I can, but also as quick as I can to not lose too much pool water. By the way, I know what you're thinking as well. Why is the audio only coming out of one of your mics? Well, I'm asking the same questions to be honest with you. I'm not sure really what's happening there. Hopefully it's not too bad for you though. Just hoovered up the whole pool then. Looking much better already, so what I'm gonna do now is just get the net. Get the top all cleared off. Get the pool running again. And then brush any stubborn stains. There's a few. Not too many, but yeah. Get in there. some filtration on the go. First though, get this basket and empty. Also get the uh, chlorine feeder filled up.
So I'm just going to give the pool a brush up for any of the tougher stains that are still hung about. And I also think I'm going to, well, I'll put a couple of sparkle tablets in and then come back again tomorrow and give it another hoover. And then we'll be, we'll be there. Before I leave actually, I'll show you these water pistols from Spira, which I bought, I bought a couple of them. Pretty decent, right? Honestly, not cheap, but worth the money. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get them. Okay. Sound should be better now this time, I promise, because I figured out how to sort it out properly. Uh, basically, I think I had it on stereo or mono, one or the other. Anyway, I've got it on the right one now, so sound should be coming out of both speakers. All I had to do is have a, uh, do a quick YouTube video, how to, found it, sorted. So back here again, and well, pool's 100% clear. There's sand in the pool directly beneath the um, the inlet, which is meaning the uh, laterals are broke on this filter as well, because that's another inlet there, and there's a load of sand in the bottom. Anyway, just going to give it one more vac, and then. This pool is going to be ready for use again because it's getting pretty hot. No underwater shots, unfortunately, on this one because I've got a time lapse camera. <laughs> I need to get another another camera, don't I? Time lapse underwater and handheld. Nearly there. I'm trying to get it done as quick as I can. and hoover into waste again. Uh, that's the pool all cleaned out. I'm just going to give it a backwash again. Uh, I've not packed that up yet because if it does spit out a load of sand then I'll have to hoover it quickly. So we'll see. We'll give it a quick backwash and see if it does it. Looks like there's a little bit of sand in there.
comes. Hopefully no sand. Oh, seems okay. None in the deep end either. Pack this all the way down, give it a net. And that'll be job done. Maybe throw in some algaecide actually. Yes, that's the pool all done. Looking good. Ready again for another heat wave. Summer's been pretty good here actually in the UK, so this year. Bit of clean pool algaecide to help. Make sure this algae doesn't come back. for this week pull the cover on that'll be job done I'll leave you boy for the pull work mm -hmm.